Hi everyone, Stephen Lee here. Did you receive your EIDL loan increase request yet? In this video, I'll be providing an update on why the loan increase is taking so long, as well as what you can do apart from waiting to find a status update from the SBA. So let's get right into number one. Why is the EIDL increase taking so long? Many of you have been asking, wondering about the EIDL increase request. At our firm, we have assisted many clients in applying for an increase in EIDL funds all the way back to April and May of this year. As of today, we have not heard back on a single loan increase. Okay. We have regularly checked the client's EIDL online dashboard, probably what you, many of you have been doing, and all it shows is that your loan modification is being processed. That's all it shows at this point. So why is it taking so long for the SBA to respond and fund the loan increases? As we know, the SBA is being extra cautious on this round of funding in an effort to prevent fraudulent requests. Also, the IRS is backed up with tax returns and tax refunds, as well as the new advanced child tax credit. Therefore, we can safely assume that the delay may not just be on the SBA side, but also the IRS's delays in sending the SBA uh, tax return information for increased requests. Remember that um, 4506T that you send the um, that you allow basically the SBA to request from the IRS your tax information. So it's probably not only the SBA being extra cautious, but also the delays that the IRS is withholding or actually being slow on sending the SBA that information. Remember, if this is the kind of content and update that you're looking for, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications as I'll continue to update you on not only the SBA EIDL loan program, but also other grants and incentives that might be headed your way. All right, number two is how do you get a status update from the SBA apart from the online dashboard? Okay, uh, there is one easy step to get a status update directly from the SBA on your loan increase request. What you need to do is you need to send an email request and the email address is disastercustomerservice at sba.gov. Once again, it's disastercustomerservice at sba.gov. In the request, make sure you list your business name and the 10 digit SBA loan number. Okay. You can find this SBA loan number on your original loan agreement on the top left side. So on the loan agreement, you'll see not only your original loan agreement number, but also the application number. I would include the 10 digit SBA loan number. Okay. Um, I would also include and attach the original automated email confirmation that you received when you first applied for the loan increase request. Okay, back in April or May. So find that email, attach it to this uh, email as well. And then after you submit the, uh, the request for a status update, you should receive an automated email reply acknowledging your request. So make sure you get that automated email reply. The typical response time is about two business days, but I would give it about you know two to five business days depending on um, how backed up the SBA is in sending responses. All right, so if you would like to receive an update, you should email the SBA asking for an update and see if there's anything they need from you to expedite this request all right, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned as I'll provide more updates um, on these programs. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye.